Hey guys, what's going on? It's T-Car. Um, due to how crappy Google Plus is with YouTube and, and the merger and all that, um, I cannot reply to your guys' comments with my iPhone. That's really all I've got. So what I'm going to do, because I really appreciate your comments and I don't want you guys to feel like I don't read them or don't pay attention to them, I'm going to start this. Um, I took this off of Nothing Fancy. So I'm going to read your comments out loud, and I'm going to answer them in a little video. Um, I'm going to take about three days for you guys to get all the comments in, and then I'm going to read them and answer them uh, and make a little video about it. So I've got uh, my lovely wife helping me with this. So if you'll go ahead and read some of the comments, and we'll get those answered for you. Okay. And this is, by the way, this is the video that I just made. Um, this is a reply to the comments on my Assemble a Bug Out Bag video, by the way. So. Fort Worth Quilt Guy says, Very nice bag and setup. I am also glad to hear you are healing up nicely. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, pr really appreciate that. It's, it's healing up just uh, kind of day by day. So thanks, man. EDC Gunner says, Good setup. You got all the bases covered, and it is a very realistic something I would carry on a hiking trip. I would put a map with that compass, real paper one, raincoat, and a cheapo cell phone with a good battery life. But all in all, great setup and awesome bag. Thanks, EDC Gunner. Actually, I did have a uh, paper uh, map. I didn't actually have it in there. I do have one of the area, so I'll definitely add that. Um, the cell phone, uh, that's not too bad of an idea either. Um, I don't know how much the minutes cost, but that's not, that's not a bad idea either. So thanks for the ideas. All right, Brendan Hollingsworth says, does your wife have one? My wife does not have one. We actually have two bags that uh, are capable of it, um, but we need to set that up. So, yeah, that's, that's you know, call me out. I haven't made my wife one yet, so I will do that. And, by the way, Brandon, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate that. Boy in Blue 823 says, good to see the shoulders healing. Nice pack. What are the dimensions on the sleeping bag when it is unpacked? I can't believe how small it packs up. That's actually a great question. Let me show you. Uh, let me show you that it is a full sleeping bag, real quick. Um, let's see. Um, I'm five. I'm six foot, and I don't know if I want to tear this whole thing out. Actually, I'm not going to. The dimensions are, it's, uh, I think it's a 6'1 or 6'2 uh, long, and it's about, heck, I'd say about four feet wide, and it just compacts really nicely. It's made out of synthetic. How so, small does it pack up? Small does it pack up? Uh, let's see. Um, I would say this is, what, just a couple feet by, what, two feet by... Heck, I don't know the diameter, but as you can see, decently small, so it's really not bad. And you can just, you know, this nice little uh, stuff bag cinches up pretty tight. So, um, sorry I don't have the direct dimensions on that, but it's a it's a marmot sleeping bag, so uh, check that out. So it's a it's a LNG RZ. So, all right. But thanks by the way, Blue and Blue, and I really like your videos by the way, and thanks for keeping on commenting. Stag AR556 says, nice stuff, bro. Thanks. Thanks, Stag. Altenda Fabrizio says, good setup, bro. Glad to have news from you. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks, Altenda. I uh, really appreciate uh, you watching and commenting, and I really enjoy your videos as well. The AR15 Ona says, looks good, dude. I will have to do an update video to mine someday soon. You just got to catch up, so that's that's what it is. You think you're all big and bad with that 500 subs there, 15 on I'm just kidding, man. Yeah, please, I, I can't wait to see what you've got. You, you always have great stuff, and I really appreciate your support. Trace O Liberty says, great bag. That is a lot of stuff. It, it is, and uh, but you know what? I, there is a, some stuff that I didn't have to use, but I think it's all very useful and very practical. So thank you so much, Trace, and by the way, uh, keep making your videos. I hope to see you out shooting this summer, and I hope your family as well. Brendan Hollingsworth says, 
Cooper, that's my black lab's name, and I didn't think about the vitamins. Do a review on your dog, LOL. Cooper, come here. This is, well, I will do a review on my dogs. This is Cooper. This is my six-year-old pit mix, and this is Tyson, my two-year-old full-blooded pit bull. They are both rescues. They're both males, and they're both my babies, so... And Tyson's official adoption day is today. So actually, yeah, we picked him up and we adopted him today. So these are my these are my babies. So this, we don't have any kids. So these these guys these are my little boys. They hang out with me all the time. So all right, Sniff Money says, "Dogs come on. Bug out, go bag by T Carp." He said, "Awesome bag." With some great stuff. Thanks for the info as I'm about to start a new bag out bag. Any suggestions on a good budget bag to start with? You know, my first bag was uh, one of the little Remingtons from Walmart. Um, that cost about $20, $30. Go with that, um, to be honest with you. And then just kind of keep on, uh, keep on progressing. Um, you know, this bag was given to, given to me. It's a Condor bag. I think you can really get a good bag now for $80, $90. Now, you would say, oh, I don't want to pay that. But something that's comfortable um, is worth it. So, um, you know, if you can afford it, spend the $80, $90. Bucks. And that's it. All right. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this comment video. I'm going to be making more of these um, as they come along because I, I just can't reply to your comments through the, through the phone. So I apologize. So I'm going to go ahead and make videos make it personal. Uh, thank you again. This is T-Cop signing out.